In this video, we're gonna look at how you can manage attendees and RSVP information for your RSVP style events. So if we're in the main events area, we're gonna click on one of our RSVP events um, right down here, and we're gonna click on it. Um, inside of the RSVP events, the attendee list tool is the tool where you can manage all attendee information and RSVP information. We're gonna start at the top to add a new attendee on the fly manually. You just click on add new attendee right here, provide basic information and it gets added to the list. Um, to group one or more attendees together for like a family, um, you can um, start typing the information um, here, the first name or last name of existing attendees and you can group them this way right here. Um, there's another way to group them, we'll show you later. Um, you can, if you have um, one or more say sub events, um, that you need to collect RSVP information for. Say you have a main event and a pre-event and a post-event and you've got different people that you need to collect different RSVP information for for each sub-event. Basically what you would do is you would create one or more RSVP, RSVP events. I've created four of them here. Here's the one I just created um, and that way um, people who have been added to those RSVP event lists can then RSVP for those sub-events. So I'm going to remove the one I just created, but that's how you can do that. The import export button here lets you import um, attendees from other applications like Google or Salesforce. You can import from a CSV file by clicking right there. You can import from a VCF file, which is an address book file right there. You can also export to other applications. You can export to a CSV file right there, which you can open up in Excel or Google um, Sheets. You can download to a PDF, or you can also generate name badges on the fly. And this will download a Microsoft Word file of an Avery name badge template of your choice. Finally, if you click on the check-in link here, it will open up the check-in tool so you can check in attendees at the door. When you first come into the attendee list tool, there's already going to be the first RSVP event segment created for you. And we're gonna give it the same name as your event. But again, you can create more RSVP events to collect RSVP information for sub-events, um, which we've done right there. Um, so first of all, you're gonna collect all the RSVP information um, from your attendees via the event webpage tool. But if you click on that event web page settings, you can turn on or turn off this RSVP event collector for your web page. You can also add a description right there that will display on the web page as well as a confirmation message. Um, and you can also upload files that attendees can then download once they've RSVP'd. And I will show you later on um, how all that works. Next, um, right here, we're gonna give you um, a quick, at a glance look at everyone who's RSVP'd um, for each RSVP event that we've created. Um, you can also add custom questions if you need to collect specific information for each attendee right here. It will keep track of the counts and you can click on view and manage, first of all, to add custom questions. And you can do that by clicking there, add question, I'm just gonna really quick type this in. Um, there are several question types you can choose from, text or multiple choice questions. You can also make them required or optional. And once you've created them, um, we'll keep counts of um, the overall responses as well as individual responses. And if you need to edit the individual response for a particular attendee, you just click on the edit button underneath them there. And here are the three custom questions I've created so far for our, our, our attendees to respond to. And you can also download the CSV of the attendee list there if you wish. The next thing is you can add meal choices for people to select and that is how you add a meal choice by clicking on the add button. You can reorder them by using that up down arrow and you can also uh, click next to the item to edit it or delete it. And finally, you can get your totals right here as well as view who has selected what meal choice option and you can make changes to them right here for each attendee. Now we're going to scroll down to uh, the search field where if you start typing in the name first or last of an attendee, 
you can search for them right here and uh, uh, change their information if you wish. Um, you can select all or return to the main list right here. We're going to return to the main list so it gives us our entire list of attendees right here. And if I scroll down, I can see my entire attendee list. Uh, this includes attendees that have been grouped together as well as individual attendees right here. If I want to change the RSVP status of um, attendee, I can just click on the big button right there and change their status. Um, the status um, levels we have are attending, not attending, no response, and do not include. You can also change their priority list or their meal choice right here. And you can change that for each RSVP event listing right here. If you need to change the information for an individual attendee, you can just scroll down to that attendee and click on their name like I'm doing right here. Um, once you click on their name, you can edit their name and personal information right there. You can also add a quick plus one by clicking on that button or you can delete the attendee there. You can also update their address, phone, and email by clicking there as well as add a note. And then finally, um, you can edit the responses for the custom questions that you've created for each RSVP event right here. And finally, we're going to look at the checkboxes here. So if you click on these checkboxes, you can do things in bulk. First of all, I'm going to click on a couple people right there. And then I'm going to select update RSVP status. So you can update the RSVP status of multiple individuals at a given time. You can also update the meal choices for multiple attendees at the same time. And this is one of the ways you can also group attendees, so you can group them with the button at the top or you can group them again right here. Um, I'm just going to click on, type in a group name and you've got the ability to select the relationship of the attendee to the primary guest. You can also ungroup attendees this way. You can add plus ones in bulk, so if you needed to add a plus one to every attendee in your event, you could do it this way. And you can also delete multiple attendees right here. Now we're going to take a look at how people can RSVP through the event web page. So we're going to go to the event web page tool. And we're going to uh, go to the live page. So here's the RSVP panel right here in the setup area. I'm going to click on the link, the URL link to the live web page. And on the live web page that you can build and launch, this is where people can type in their first and last name like this. Um, we'll click on the CAPTCHA code and then find my RSVP. Here is that an introductory information that we added a little bit ago. Um, and here is where Sarah can RSVP and since she's part of a group, she can RSVP for everyone in her group. So here are the custom questions and the meal choices that we created for this particular um, RSVP event. And once we've submitted that information, Sarah can now view the the files that we allowed them to download up on RSVP and you can she can also RSVP for any other guests that are in her group. We've selected not attending and that's what that looks like. Sarah has also been invited to uh, multiple RSVP events so she can designate that there and here's the custom question that we created for that second event. And then once she's responded, she can also click on the edit answers to come back and revise her response if she wishes. And that's how she can do that. So that's how guests can come into the event webpage and RSVP for uh, the event. And here is Sarah's RSVP information right there. It will record it all right here for you. And if you need to edit that, you just click on Sarah's name and go down to the information you need to edit and manage and change it right here. That's how you can manage RSVPs and RSVP information through the attendee list tool. Uh, but if you have additional questions, please do let us know.